for a Siemens connection to a ProFace HMI, the first thing I want to do is add device PLC and then I select Siemens AG and then select my protocol. In my case, I have Somatic S7 Ethernet, essentially Profinet, industrial Ethernet. Port TCP is the only option available. Then from here, I always like to give my device a name. So this makes it a lot easier when you're adding uh, switches and lamps on the screen. And then the real area that you want to access is this button here. And this will allow you to select the PLC type. Now with the S7-1200 and S7-1500 series, it's important to note that non-optimized data blocks are supported. So what that means is if you take a look on ProFace's website, you can download an application note that talks about this. Um, this is what you need to select inside of Siemens software. You need to select standard compatible with S7 300 400 or if you're running Step 7 version 10, uh, you want to uncheck the symbolic access only. Next, uh, you're going to want to uncheck the optimized block access on the data blocks themselves and that applies for Step 7 version 13 and later. And also you want to um, see this offset column in the data block. You're going to want to select full access from the protection area of the settings for the PLC. Also you will want to make sure that there is a checkbox in permit access with put get communication. So we'll select S7-1200, we'll put in an IP address, and we'll say OK. Now you can use tag data, but this only supports XML data to my knowledge. I have not tested this out. So if I select OK, uh, now on my screen when I add an object, you will see the options available. If I double click here, you can see Siemens shows up as my device PLC and I have access to DB, I, Q, and M blocks. Now in my sample project, um, I set up a very simple switch here that's communicating to DB2.2, which in the programming software looks like this, percent %db2.dbx0.2. And another nice thing to note is that for the S7-200, 300, and 400 series controllers, we have uh, the S7P files supported. So to give a quick demonstration of how that works, I will go back to the PLC window and select Device PLC. And what I'm going to do is change the series here to S7300400, and we're going to use tag data. If I select New, I can then go to Import, Browse, select the S7P file and all the tag data will come in. Now this supports structured data types, very convenient, highly recommended to use this. And I select OK and it successfully imports the data. I say OK and OK again. Now on my screen here when I add an object you will see that that same um, drop down tree menu is available when I go to select my device. So here you can see all the structures there. I can select all the individual bool, integer, data, a lot of uh, addresses here. But th these are the addresses that are tied to the tags. And that concludes the Siemens setup.